In this tutorial, we're going to explore another sampler mode called Time Machine. Time Machine gives you independent pitch shifting and time stretching, meaning that you can move up and down the keyboard and have the audio change pitch without changing time. I'm beginning here with a sample from the Scarby Funk Guitarist library that comes with Complete, but you can use any sample library that you'd like and just grab some tonal material, bring it out, create an instrument, and you'll get something like this. Now these are tonal loops, so as I move up the keyboard, they change in pitch, but they also change in timing. Here is C3, and here is C4, and C5, and C2. Well, that's not what I want. What I want is to change pitch, but I want to keep the rhythm the same as this. So in order to do that, I change my source module from sampler to time machine. Now notice there are three different time machines. These were created in subsequent versions of Contact. They got better over time. Time Machine Pro is the best, so we're just gonna use that one for right now. Now without doing anything, watch what happens when I play across my keyboard. Everything is the same rhythm and the same tempo, same speed, but the pitch does change. I can control the overall speed with the speed control. And again, this is for the given group. In this case, it's just a single group, but I could have a different group with different settings and even a different sampler mode. Let me command click to reset this. A couple other controls here for Time Machine. One is high quality mode. And what that does is reveals a couple other controls. Now, envelope order is described as the order of the spectral envelope estimation. And format shift is described as the envelope factor spectral envelope shift factor. Basically tweak them until they sound good. In general, high pitched instruments, you wanna keep the envelope order lower and lower pitched instruments, you want to keep the envelope order higher. Let me just give you a little example. So here is my instrument. Let me lower the envelope order. It's really hard to tell. Let me raise the format shift here. So you can see playing with these, you can get a little bit different sounds, but for right now, I'm just going to stick with the default. Now, just like with Beat Machine, Time Machine Pro does not respond to tempo changes. Let me again bring up my master editor, and I'll raise my tempo and lower it. Nothing's happening. If I want the audio to respond to tempo, I have to once again go into Wave Editor and choose Use Time Machine Pro. Now, if Time Machine Pro had not been selected as my sampler mode, let's say I was in just regular sampler mode, when I click Time Machine Pro, You'll notice the mode changes automatically. The speed dims out, just like it did with Beat Machine. And now I'm going to respond to tempo. So just to summarize, if you want to sync to tempo in Contact or in your sequencer, use the Wave Editor and turn on Time Machine Pro. If you just want to set a speed within Contact, you can use the Source Module Time Machine Pro and tweak some of these settings to get slightly different sounds and use the speed setting to determine how fast your audio is going to play back.